bike and pedestrian friendly pathway into the arts district has now taken root. Charlotte City Council has plans to improve the Matheson Bridge starting at North Tryon Street running into Villa Heights. While many praise the opportunity for growth in the area, others point to the high cost of this project. WBTV's Ron Lee joins us now live from the Government Center with more on this. Ron? Well, the plan certainly isn't cheap. City leaders tell me it's going to cost about $13 million to get this thing off the ground. But officials that I talked to tonight tell me that with the potential of jobs moving into the area and all the benefits that it's going to come with it, it is well worth the cost. It's just a different world, so it's nice to connect those two worlds a little bit. Alex Kaysan is a professional photographer, and at least for today, an Eclipse enthusiast. He's not only looking up, but he's looking ahead, and what changes the bridge he's standing on is about to go through. You know, the price hike of just living there and everything, if you're going to have all the price hikes, you might as well have all the amenities too. The Matheson Corridor, better known as Villa Heights, is about to undergo some serious changes. Charlotte City Council has got plans in the works to redo the area and make it more attractive to businesses, in particular high-tech businesses that will be drawn to the Noda Arts District. The planned investment should yield reduced travel lanes for cars, but bump up access by other means of transportation, such as bikes and pedestrian travel. The overpass will be regraded to give better access to the light rail stations and crossing over to the Charlotte Trail. This is going to be very great for me. Kelly Lusanga owns Kelly's Tobacco and Vape. His shop sits at the base of Matheson, where all the construction will soon be happening. He's only been open for three months and is hoping this new project will bring more people and mean a windfall for him. Small business need everything to be grown bigger for us, so it could be bigger. While the project is relatively small, the impact could be pretty impressive. It starts right at the vape shop, goes over the Matheson Bridge, and wraps up along Jordan Place. It automatically says you can work here, you can build here, you can have more opportunity here. But growing pains updating infrastructure could mean road closures and diversions once the project kicks into high gear. So Davidson's always under construction anyway, so having Matheson under construction probably won't be anything terribly new, but I hope that it doesn't take long. Now, as for the timeline of the project, the mayor tells me it could take a few months to get this thing off the ground and a couple of years to a few years to get it completed. In Charlotte, I'm Ron Lee. WBTV, on your side. A lot to keep up with here, Ron. Thank you. Also tonight.